focaccia bread. Um, now focaccia is an Italian style flatbread. Um, it's usually baked in a jelly roll pan or it can be baked in a, on a sheet tray. Um, and it's a pretty easy bread to make. You just have to do two rises. Um, and I like to do it in a bowl. You can do it in a mixer. Um, but I'm just going to do it by hand today and show you how to do that. So uh, we use an all-purpose flour. And what I put in here is about five cups of all-purpose flour. Um, we also use a tablespoon of kosher salt. You're going to put all your ingredients in there. A tablespoon of sugar. We use olive oil. You can extra, use an extra virgin olive oil or you can use an olive oil blend. So you want to do about a fourth cup of that. This is a very oily bread. It's used, we use a lot of olive oil in it. You use olive oil in the mix and you use olive oil when you're ready to form and bake it. So we're going to put that in there. flour mixture. And then I've got some dry active yeast. We're going to use one packet of that. And everything goes right in the bowl. Then I have um, some warm water. Now you don't want this to be too hot because it will kill your yeast. So I usually like to bring it to about 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're just going to pour that in there. And at this point, you could add some fresh herbs if you would like. You could add some finely chopped rosemary um, or some Italian seasoning or some garlic. Uh, we're going to leave this one plain and we're going to put our toppings on at the end. So basically, I just take my hand and we're going to mix that around. And like I said, this can be done in a mixer as well. And it looks a little messy, but it's all going to come together at the end. So you can kind of see how that looks. And this type of bread, you don't need to knead it. Um, you're just going to mix it and fold it gently and then let it rise. It should be coming together. Sometimes I get two hands in there. And it's going to be a very sticky dough. More water to that. So you want it to be a nice sticky dough. And remember, no kneading, just mixing with your hands or your mixer. The nice thing about this is you don't have to use bread flour, you can use all purpose flour. So your dough is going to be pretty sticky, as you can see, and it's not going to look very nice, but it's all going to come together at the end. So what I do is just gently fold the dough, and you can see what that kind of looks like. It's going to become a nice, smooth, elastic form ball. It's kind of sticky now, but that's okay. work it with your hands. In your mixer you'll be able to tell when it's ready. So it's pretty much incorporated now. So what you're going to do, and you can see it's kind of sticking to my hands there, but that's the way you want it. It's going to be pretty wet, not like your regular bread doughs. So at this point, you're going to have to do the first rise. And that usually takes about an hour to two hours, depending on the temperature of your room. Um, or you can put it in an oven with just the light on and no heat. Um, and it needs to double in size. So now we're going um, to show you how we oil our bowl down, and we're going to let that dough rise. I'd like to coat it with warm oil there in the bottom. 
enough. Gently scrape our dough over. tomato pesto, which is just sun-dried tomatoes and a little bit of olive oil, and we're going to sprinkle that on as well too, very gently. You could add um, sliced black olives at this point if you would like. You can add some um, fresh tomato. Um, you could add some artichokes and chopped spinach if you would like. And I like to coat it very generously with whatever topping I'm using. And this one is going to be our sun-dried tomato pesto focaccia. Now it's ready to put in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes until it's nice and crisp and golden brown. So now our focaccia is done. You can see it's nice golden brown. The tomatoes are um, nicely on there and, and there's some fresh herbs and stuff. Um, so we're going to let that cool a little bit and we're going to put together our seafood salad that uh, we are offering on Monday, uh, served with our focaccia bread. And I'm going to show you how we're going to serve that. We have some um, house-made seafood salad with crabs, scallops, and um, shrimp 
and just a basic mayonnaise dressing on there. We're going to be serving that on some light salad greens. So I've got some fresh greens here. Place that on our plate. I also like to serve a little slice of cucumber and tomato with that as well. Okay. 